Blood Rituals, Moonlight Serenade. This song is from the pen of Klaus Baldet, and it is from the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy. And today you're going to learn how to play this wonderful tune on your cello. We first begin with the bowing. Now, if you have purchased this, it's linked in the description below, you will find that my bowings are slightly different from the published version. And because it all sort of stems with this idea of evening out the notes after the slightly faster place. <laughs> So modify that, include the next dotted half note with the two eighth notes prior in that measure, and do that from the slightly faster for the next two staves. I'll demonstrate. Connect. Back. As written, connect. And the reason I change that is because of the bow management, okay, like this. And the reason it is modified is to manage the area of bow you're using a little bit better. This is as written, not my modifications. the bow creeping creeping out now it is a technique you can learn to slightly go faster a gentle martele in order to equalize the volume you want to keep an even volume <laughs> For those of you that want a more legato sound, follow the bowing that I included in the part, which involves cutting out those little bits and connecting with the next measure, as now with my modifications. <laughs> You can use this measure right here, this uppo, to make your bow come back to the other side. Now let's jump into the fingerings, and to show you better, I'm going to switch my cello. This song is an A minor. You should review your A minor natural scale. <laughs> review that. Let's jump right into the third stave where we have this jump up, the first shift right here. We're going to start on the C natural, then shift up. That is this right here, the one, two, ending on the four. Shift, expand, and the upper second position with an extension back. That is what the orange bracket means. The next part after slightly faster. First position. Shift, upper second. Keep it closed. First. Upper second. Expand. Expanded upper second. And then relaxed first. Here we have a shift up yellow bracket to the upper third position with an extension back. 
your second is on the A, your four is on the B natural, and your first finger is on the G. The Roman numeral two in this section tells you to play like that. So we're going to do zero, one, use the open string to shift up to this. If you need help, you can release your thumb, you can really get a better expansion like that. Remember, the extension is a rotating, a torquing of the fingers backwards. Continuing from there, use the open string afterward to shift to first. Upper second. Expand out. Drop four right here. And that is another D string note, the Roman numeral two. And the reason why you want to play a four here, because the open A, though it is correct, it sounds a bit flat, especially in such an expressive and exposed piece. So play that with a little diminuendo going down. And then we have our first shift to the lower third position coming up. First, then lower third, first finger on the D, third finger on the E natural, fourth finger on F. Then first again. All first, upper second with an extension back. There it is again. Uh, first again, lower third, first. And this right here is all on the D string. Put your second finger on the A. This is the beginning of fourth position. Second finger on that A. Upper third. B. G sharp. A. I will now play for you, starting at the bracket at the top right here to the end. So you now know what it sounds like and looks like in context. <laughs> Was it Klaus Baldet? Klaus Balde. Sorry if I am butchering your name, but I'll put your picture right here. Thank you for writing this wonderful piece. It's not all Hans Zimmer, but this guy as well. And I hope you really enjoyed learning this spooky sort of serenade for thanks for, for Halloween. So I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me on your journey of music discovery. I'm Jonathan, I teach cello, and like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.